But it's amazing how Tuve's getting better, but Correa's out, Springer, and yet whoever you plug in, the Astros keep winning. How are they doing it? Well, that's a lot of talent on the injured list, so you're wondering how they're going to do it. Much like the Yankees, it, they've had some guys step up. When you have Justin Verlander, also Garrett Cole, and you know you can pitch every single night, that always helps. But offensively, these are guys that are stepping up. They're understanding that they have to do that. But it's a nice ballpark to hit in, too, Frank. You know that. But Alvarez, what a story coming up and having the ability to hit the ball out. This young man has already had an imprint on this offense. And I think A.J. Hinch, the manager of the Astros, knows that they have a big talent than that and they're after going to rely on right now. Well, this kid, 23 home runs, 71 RBIs in the PCL in 56 games. Yeah, the, app, uh, the air is a little light up there, but still, that's <laughs> impressive. He comes to the big leagues. He's at two home runs in less than a week. Uh, this offense is just too talented. And uh, if they get pitching this year, it's going to be a tough time trying to beat the Houston Astros. You think about it, too. I, I think A.J. Hinch has created this atmosphere since the 2017 World Series. They have expectation. Even though there's guys that are, are injured, they know how important it is because down the stretch, they know where they're going to be, but they all, can also make some adjustments. Are they the uh, deepest team in, in baseball? They could around? easily yeah. be. Uh, and, and the injuries to Correa and Altuve are concerning, mm -hmm. but I, I think they are the deepest team because when you win a World Series like that, it affords you time to develop some of these guys, and the developed staff in the minor leagues has to have a tip of the cap as well. I mean, they have great scouting, but you got to look at this team. They're battle-tested. They just won a World Series a couple years ago. Go. They know what the goal is. They keep continuing to add to this team. A, a rookie coming up, swinging a bat like this, perfect for that ballpark because it's such a small ballpark. He could probably shoot 30 balls out in the second half the way he swings the bat. Bottom line is, yes, they're, they're the deepest team in the, in, the, in the American League right now. Okay. All right. And, and Brad Peacock gave him a good performance. You talk about if they get the pitching, you know what you get with Verlander and Cole, but when Peacock gives you a good enough performance with that kind of offense, you're in good shape. i tell you this what, Chris. Uh, A.J. Hinch talked to me, and, and he said, listen, we're one or two players – uh, away from being a better team than we were as the World Series champs. That really tells you how much that roster has got um, improved. And there's some pieces there that uh, they know, uh, they understand. And they're going to win. And tell you that they're going to do something to the deadline. You think they will? I think they will go out okay. and get another big time starter to, okay. to, to yeah, really offset Keiko, and, losing yeah. Keiko. And the American they League. Starter they yeah, that's the a AL loaded with talented teams Yankees, Red Sox, Twins having a terrific year. Can they win with this bullpen? When we say win, it's not just getting to the playoffs, it's the World Series and maybe winning it. Yeah, the way it's constructed right now I don't think so Kenley Jansen has 19 saves out of 21 that's good percentage but I don't think Kenley Jansen's the same guy and that's the reason why it filters down from there uh, Joe Kelly has been a, a struggling reliever since he signed with the Dodgers it's not the same guy I think they do need to make a move even though the Dodgers are, are famous for putting one of those starters or even two starters in their bullpen to fortify it down the stretch but I think they need an impact reliever and that would be huge for the club but that's like three teams need that consistent power arm in a bullpen I think there's one out there I, I was looking early I think a guy like Michael Gibbons from Baltimore could come in and add some consistency really? in the back of a bullpen power arm good against righties and lefties that's the type of guy they'd be looking for down the deadline yeah and I, I like that too Frank I, I, I think it's a guy that's versatile that's closed before and then also has an opportunity to pitch the high leverage inning I think Brad Hand's the perfect guy yes. he, his name was there when he was with the Padres. I think the Dodgers really wanted Brad Hand. He's very versatile. He, he'll take the ball at any moment. And I think he takes a little pressure off Kenley Jansen in, in that last inning role. Dave Roberts can be very uh, versatile. This roster is so good. They have versatility defensively, offensively, but that would be huge pickup for them if, if they get uh, Brad Hand. Yeah, and Frank, if we're talking about the hierarchy in the National League, right? I the mean, Braves. The, well, yeah, well the, you look at the Braves. Yeah, the, they Cubs need, they out, the Cubs went out. The Cubs got it. They got Kimbrel, right? So the Braves got to complete their bullpen, and the Dodgers need to complete their bullpen. So you think they're going to be on that level? Okay. So you service. both agree they need to add somebody? That, I think they, they do. Have. And, yeah. and it, listen, it play, being in second for two straight years. Yes. Uh, that is frustrating in itself. I think this year is a priority because Ken, uh, uh, Clayton Kershaw is not getting any any younger, Jensen, and uh, everyone else has to step up. And the Dodgers know this is a, a dangerous club. They need to shore up their weakness. Yes.